in the previous videos of the series, we did a general introduction on how you move the robot with two motors and how you control these motors. In today's video, we'll talk about how do you use uh, this knowledge for a competition when you have different robots. For example, this here is a competition robot. So it's kind of a more complex robot uh, and uh, when you're on a competition, it doesn't matter which competition, you have to follow some certain principles. And uh, we did many videos like, I don't know, 20 videos about uh, positioning yourself, aligning. And uh, these are the following things you must know when you go to a competition with a robot. First, at the competition, no matter the competition, and actually it's even more general, uh, the way you move the robot is always imprecise. And that's a rule. Let's, uh, let's see this. Let's build a program that moves the robot forward, then turn, and then move forward. And what you'll see is that even though we'll start at the same position every time, we will arrive at a different position at the end. And there will be small differences. And this will be only after three movements. So forward, turn, forward. Now imagine if you have more movements. But let's first, uh, let's first see the simple movement. I will now program the robot to move. Let's first delete these blocks here that are left from previous programs. So uh, I would like to move with both motors forward and these are motor A and motor D for one rotation. Then I would like to turn with motor A. I will turn with motor A again for let's say for half a rotation or oh, let's let's keep it one and a half rotation so that you can see it well on the camera and then move again forward with the tank block on A and D and move for one rotation. Let's see how the, the robot moves. Let's now measure how imprecise actually the whole movement is. I'll take a marker and I mark the starting positions, the starting position of uh, of the robot. It's here. Here I have the starting position of the robot. These are these two black lines, and on our on I on. I will now position the robot and let's start the program. And now we mark the final position of our third wheel, which is somewhere here. I hope you can see it on the camera. And we do the same thing again. We start from the same initial position. And as you can see, there is a small difference between the position last time and the position now. It's three, four millimeters or it, it's not a very big difference, but it's significant for only three movements. So move, turn, move. And this is something repeatable. So you get at a different place each time. What I'm trying to tell you here is that it is very unwise to rely only 
of the movement of the motors when you're at the competition or even generally and uh, there are different solutions to this uh, first uh, you can align to different borders uh, second you can program the robot uh, so it lines to lines and uh, following below the video you can find a whole playlist with different videos on how do you solve this program this problem for a competition robot and uh, check out the playlist and then we will continue with tasks on on how do you prepare for a competition and positioning on a competition